time to get into Cemetery Mary. If I believe last time we left off on Cemetery Mary, we were at Reginald's house or apartment. No. No, it was the dinner party. <laughs> it was the dinner party. The family the dinner. The family dinner of awkwardness and hatred. Seems like nobody likes each other there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> rich people. Well, it's also is honestly it a though like family, any family though? dinner. <laughs> oh, that's right. We weren't sure if it was like family, like blood, or family, like mafia. Yeah, I like the mafia idea better, but who knows? Lynn's like, oh, it's just my work. Anyway, all right, let's get into it. Yeah, load. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> this game contains themes and depictions of the following stalking kidnapping strong language mild drugs alcohol and smoking blood murder suicide flashing images and potentially loud noises discretion is advised oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go Boop. i don't remember who's talking the, the, the hipster because <laughs> he was like oh sitting between two lovely ladies oh. I don't remember that but I probably blocked it out on purpose I'll let you take over that voice then I don't remember who was doing what also as much as Twyla annoys me I have to admit her outfit is like it's, it's pretty good tonight yeah yeah hipster looking I would assume dude who knows that's the thing I don't know yeah. there's no facial features I can't tell <laughs> anyway go ahead though the does narrow a while I was you know figure wise <laughs> I'm sure nobody minds go ahead <laughs> well I was just explaining why I <laughs> she's a bit freaky looking isn't, ain't she? Oh, he's talking about me? Yeah. Rude. You get used to it. Oh, um, who, me? Yeah, yeah. The... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at me for a sec. <laughs> hey, I can't look in those eyes too okay, long. Okay, what is that? keep talking about she has red eyes literally twyla has like owl eyes what's your point i don't get it she looked like that's pretty basic eyeballs it'd be like if someone had red irises oh. and i think that's a thing right Cro crowan has like red irises yeah so back off fedora man <laughs> it'll freak me out he doesn't even have eyes Oh, uh, yeah, I would, I get, would get that a lot. What? Well, remember when Crowan introduced us to... Yeah, his friends. Theo and, uh, I can't remember her name. It was like Sephora, but it wasn't. Zapra. Yeah, because <laughs> I kept accidentally <laughs> so? calling her Sephora. I kept, in my head, I'm like, it's not Roxanne. Could you imagine it? Roxanne. <laughs> Well, she looks... <laughs> security... Roxanne! <laughs> da, da, da. No! Security Breach had come out, and she looked like Roxanne from Security Breach. Five Nights at Freddy's. Ah! The Wolf? <laughs> I don't think I watched anyone play the new one. Hmm. Yeah. Is that even Mark? No. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> What were we saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm like, we were talking the stream about something. is on point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we always comment on It's things. fine. If anyone's watching, they'll love it. What I was saying is, Zapra kept saying our eyes look like dead fish eyes. So yeah. something's up with Mary's eyes. They look normal. more than what we see. They look fantastic. If I had red eyes, that would be really cool. One time... Story time. One time, I had an eye infection. Well, I had pink eye, right? 
But, it's, okay, I had pink eye, so they gave me this medication. Turns out I'm allergic to it, didn't know that. So I was using it, turned the white of my eye completely red. We're not talking red, pink, kind of, like, oh, you got dust in your eye. It was blood red. And my iris, <laughs> is, I know, the music, my iris is hazel, but it tends to lean towards the, like, greener side. So it looked like Christmas in my eyes. And I had to go and pick up medication from the pharmacist, and he was, like, talking to me, but not really looking at me, and he looked up, and I could tell the minute he made eye contact, <laughs> he was, because he, he just, like, and you take this every... I, uh, anyway, here, <laughs> and I was just like, this is kind of fun. <laughs> anyway, okay, continue. I don't remember that. I have pictures. Oh, I did on my Then again, phone. I don't look people in the eye. <laughs> that could be it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't remember what the medicine was, because now whenever I go in, if I talk about it, they're like, what was it? And I was like, I don't know. And they're like, you need to find that out. And they're like, <laughs> Anyway. <clears throat> uh. Uh, you never thought about auditioning for a horror movie? Oh, that would be so much fun. I bet they'd do something great with a face like that. Mary's adorable, okay? Everyone could just, like... <laughs> to be fair, Mary could do like a creepy like doll. I think it'd be really cool. You know what I wish they'd make more horror movies of? Gothic horror. The only one I can think of is Crimson Peak. And then I don't think the others count as gothic horror, but it kind of gives me the gothic horror vibes. Kind of. Yeah. Those are the only two I can think of. And I love them. They're great. Anyway. They're not scary scary, so I think maybe that's why. Yeah, but I don't. Most horror movies aren't scary scary. They just are jump scary. You know what I mean? You watch not it. Anymore, you yeah. jump. You even go, oh. to me, But then afterwards, it's not scary. Ones. Anyway. She would fit in well to one. After all, she can talk to ghosts. Oh, is that so? We're just airing out all my secrets, apparently. Uh, yeah, kinda. I've only done it a few times, but... Yeah. Really? Show me that. There's no, do, are, is there a dead person here? <laughs> oh, uh, I can't. You should show him. I think it would be a neat party trick. Uh, I would, but it only works when see. I'm sleeping, it seems like. I could see this guy being related to Kyla. They the hair them. color? And their general... Pose? Kind of. <laughs> Oh, sure does. Come on, Mary. Show them what you can do. By this point, the people sitting across from us seem pretty interested, too. Oh, I forgot we were at a table with a bunch of people. No, yeah, we're at uh, a fancy, like... Ah, uh, everybody's up in everybody's business. We're at a fancy, like... Uh, Dinner party. Medieval. Long, <laughs> Long table, table. The kind you see at Ikea and go, one day I'm going to buy that. <laughs> Probably better than Ikea furniture. <laughs> Everything I own is Ikea furniture. <laughs> Where, you know, it has, you know, everyone's like alternated and... Yeah. <laughs> fancy, <laughs> elaborate parties. Probably a table runner of some kind. Anyway. I, I don't know. I mean, the atmosphere... Come on. Not even for me. I don't know you. Poor man with a late mother. Now I feel kind of bad. <laughs> you wouldn't even give him the chance to speak with her again? It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I've seen you do it before, surely you can push yourself a little bit harder. You can do it, right now. Is there a grave here, Twyla? No, or is there? Because if there isn't, I can't do it. There is. What are you hiding the body? And or what if they have a private cemetery like rich people? Maybe. Yeah. Um, I wasn't sure what to do. Everyone was looking at me. I didn't want to embarrass Twyla or myself, but if I pretended to do it, I'd just embarrass myself further. They just think I'm a fake. 
I don't know what to do. But I have to decide soon. That was a weird exclamation point. <laughs> Be honest and refuse, pretend to do it. I feel like being honest and refusing is Mary's style and the best choice. Yeah. Because what if his mom's not even dead? Yeah. That's ex that's what I like <laughs> that is the first thing that came to my brain. You know people who yeah. go to psychics and are like, oh, <laughs> tell me about my grandma. I was going to say doing a Houdini, but that was the whole like, thing with Houdini was that <laughs> his his mom was dead. <laughs> it was just, she spoke German. But she refused to speak English. Yes. All right, uh, be honest and refuse. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I really can't. There's certain conditions I need to meet, and this isn't really the place I can do it. Hmm, sure, sure. First it was that blue-haired guy, and now this redhead chick. Blue-haired? I'm not sure what I want to do with this guy's voice. I keep going. That's okay. The place. <laughs> what blue-haired guy? That's what I'm saying. Who has blue hair? The only one I can think of is Theo. Hmm. All right. Though, is he dead in this timeline yet? I don't understand why <laughs> Theo would hang out with Twyla. Well, we know, once again, we know that Twyla and Crowan have something yeah. history-wise. I don't know. Go ahead. Jeez, Twyla. You sure seem to attract a lot of useless people, don't you? <laughs> what do you do, Fedora Man? What do you do? Um, perhaps I do. Maybe this guy's related to why Crowan hates... Maybe. Twyla? Is that why you're here sitting next to me then? Yep, she got me there. The people who were looking at me before are now turned back to their earlier conversations. Rich people are so weird. <laughs> but they gave me a bit of a snicker before they did so. I could tell they probably thought I was just some crazy girl or something. I wish they. I wish I could have been a ghost myself right then. Dinner was delicious, but it was hard to enjoy it while I was trying to swallow my embarrassment this, at the same time. Screw all these people, Mary. You don't need to feel embarrassed by them. They're stuck up. They What have they got going on? Nothing. Nothing. At least I didn't have to talk to anyone doing it. After what felt like forever, the party finally ended, and I asked Twyla if she could call the driver for me again. Or, at the very least where the closest bus stop was. I had hoped I hadn't missed my bus back home. Twyla did so, but as I was about to leave, she told me, don't embarrass me like that again. And she shut the door behind me. If I keep interrupting the sequence, we're not going to get through it, so I will no, hold no, my no, tongue. No. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's the one who brought and she's the one who brought it up. What do you she brought mean? Us as a party trick. Uh, uh, remember, Mary was like, "Why did she even invite me here? Why did she brought us there specifically to show off me the ghost?" Flashbacks topic. to like junior high. You deserve better than this, <laughs> everyone. If you're watching this and you have someone in your life that what is like Twyla. What am I going to title this now? I titled the last one, Twyla's a Bad Friend. <laughs> <laughs> Advice from Kendra. If you have a friend in your life that is like this, you tell them that I say that they can take their attitude and shove it up their butts. And you deserve someone better than that. All right, moving on. I felt like dying. At the very, very least, I was able to get home safe. Poor Mary. Hi again. You were late again. Another busy day. Yeah. I went to a friend's for dinner. How did that go? Not well. It could have been better. I feel like I embarrassed myself. It's something that happens to all of us. I can't picture you, mystery number, doing anything embarrassing. <laughs> I wish I could eat dinner with my parents again. One day soon. They are safe, right? Not just alive, but... They're fed and warm. I believe so. What? 
What's that mean? Don't concern yourself with it. Oh, this again? Just as long as I can see them safe again. The day is approaching. The day that I get to see them again? Yeah, I suppose. And will I see them, and will I see you? Them? Well, okay. I mean, I guess he answered that, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And will I see you? You will. Okay. Good night, Mary. <laughs> Good night! <laughs> You're very much like, I was not expecting that answer. Well, what does that mean? It comes down again to that thing where it's like, oh, are they... When, when they say they're here with me or something. And it's like, okay, well, are they alive with you? Or are they like, you know... Oh, no, he said they were alive. Okay, I don't know. It's just... Like, I trust him more, or them more, this route, because they are talking to us more. Uh -huh. But I still don't trust them 100%. I don't think that they're trying to kill me, because I feel like if they were, they would have already done it. So I definitely feel like there's at least Batman and then some other person, mm -hmm. or entities. I don't know if it's like a person, or if it's a conglomerate of people. I don't know. Hmm. It's been a few days since then. I think Twyla's been doing well in the investigation. At the very least, when I message her about it, she tells me it's fine. Since Twyla hasn't really been the one initiating our conversations, I've been trying to. But it's usually only a few short messages, and the conversations don't really go further than that. I keep hearing people outside. <laughs> um, I'm sure she's just busy, though. And I know that if she needs me, she'll call. So, I just wait until she needs me. But I've talked enough about that already. And I had a nice day by myself, actually. Sometimes it's nice just to return to the cemetery for a normal day after so much chaos. I will say, also, this route, she's talking a lot more to... Us? Us. Mm-hmm. Than like Crowen's route. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen Crowen's route, I would definitely say like go watch it and compare it to this one because there's actually quite a lot of a difference. I wasn't sure, mm -hmm. and that's why I wanted to play all the routes to see how much mm -hmm. of a difference there are. But this is like completely different. Anyway, um, I made sure to put at least one flower on every grave today, <laughs> though I haven't talked to any of them. It makes me wonder what. Reginald's round's going to be like. I know. <laughs> that one's for last. I had considered doing it, but like others tell me, it's probably not a good idea to fall asleep in public places. Especially if there is a killer on the loose. That is true. Don't fall asleep in public places. Yesterday, Dustin and I went on the train, and it was very early. And Because we have to go to Seattle, so we have to take the train. Anyway, and he was like, oh, if you're tired, just take a nap on the train. No. You don't sleep in public. There are plenty of people who you sleep on the train. You get stolen from. You get stolen. I used to take you the get train every day. Assaulted. So many the possibilities. Pen. But if you miss your stop. Well, most people go all the way to the end of the line, so. That's... Terrifying. <laughs> don't sleep in public. <laughs> anyway. Um, no, there are plenty of people who sleep on the train. Nope. So I decided I wouldn't do that today. But that's not what happened, though. I truthfully didn't mean to fall asleep. I didn't! Oh, okay. But when I sat back against the mausoleum we have, after being outside and on my feet oh, all day... mausoleum again, though. Well, I was just so tired, I didn't even realize I fell asleep. Wait, did we do this before? Yeah, this is when she calls someone to pick her up. Uh, until I woke up to the sound of rain. Remember? We called Reginald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was surprised not to have any strange dreams this time, but this was a big problem. Only the roof of the maus- wait, only the roof trim of the mausoleum was keeping me safe from the rain. And it was pouring. 
And even worse still, it was night. The only light I could see was from the street lamps outside of the cemetery. Oh dear. How could I have fell how could I have slept so long? Well, I couldn't stay hiding under here all night. I mean it's interesting she never gets a dream in a mausoleum when she sleeps on the mausoleum well before she sleeps on top of the grave so maybe it's because the body's beneath her versus in a mausoleum aren't you in a room and then your coffin's like up maybe but it still seems like she should be able to get the I don't know. Mausoleum. connection or maybe this well, is well in crowen's route at the very end doesn't she fall asleep next to a tree and she's able to talk to the maybe I'm the wrong. parents? Yeah. No, but they're buried under the tree. Oh. Uh, well then I don't know. The no, but what I'm maybe the maybe this is a hint that the mausoleum's empty? Empty? Oh <gasps> What if my parents are there? Or whatever weird things going on with the Ooh, town. Ooh, I never thought about that. I just thought about yeah. it. And I'm like <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Um, I took a big breath and ran across the cemetery to the street. We'll have to see if she falls asleep on the mausoleum again in uh, Reginald's route. Maybe. Luckily, the gate wasn't locked. Again, I was surprised but thankful, as it meant I wouldn't have to stay in it. Sorry, the dogs are barking. My dad just came home. <laughs> again, I was surprised but thankful, as it meant I would not have to find some other way out. Once also, I, this, is, what? this is also interesting because it's the first overlapping event? event. Hopefully I'm on a good path. Again, if you guys didn't watch the other one, like, I didn't exactly do the best the first time. Like Cro on Crowen's route, right? We went to the nightclub and then yeah. we ran into Twyla at the nightclub. So I was expecting us to go to the nightclub with Twyla. And maybe run into crow. That's what I was just saying. This is completely different. Yeah. But yeah. Now all of a sudden, this must be some kind of defining event. Yeah. Hmm. It's very interesting. Because, <gasps> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it could be very, you know, because there were all the times we went places with Crow and friends. Uh-huh. And so, you know, I figured those would just be the ones that were replaced with Twilight. different things. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, odd cool though i like it <laughs> definitely check this guy this game out if you're watching um once i was out on the sidewalk i noticed the street lights were the only lights on everything else seemed closed how late was it i didn't want to pull out my phone out in the rain to check but i mean it's a phone it'll be fine by Especially any means yeah by any means i definitely I most definitely missed the last bus home. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but I had to find shelter first. I ran through the rain trying to find anything that was open. It wasn't long before I felt my shoes filled with water. I could get a cold out here. Wait, I'd get a cold out here too if I was out here too long and the rain showed no signs of letting up. But I knew that there was just had to be something, anything open. And eventually, I made it somewhere. It was the movie theater. Thank goodness. Are the movies different? I think they're the same. Okay. Uh, I rushed myself inside and took a seat beside the posters, waiting to dry off and taking out my phone. Just as I suspected, it was pretty late. Non-specific holiday movie still makes me fun. <laughs> and knowing the usual time of the cinema I could tell it wasn't going to be open much longer what do I do? even though I wasn't sure how he could help me right now I had to at least try calling up Crowen oh wait I remember what happened mm. uh, why isn't he picking up? Mary? Oh, you picked up. Thank goodness. I was just starting to get worried. I, uh, I'm having a bit of a problem right now. What is it? Well, uh, you see, I kind of fell asleep in the cemetery. And I only woke up a few minutes ago. 
and it's raining really bad right now and I missed the bus so I don't know I was hoping maybe you could help me out somehow uh no can do Mary Moo didn't I tell you tell me what Mary I'm like not even home right now not even close huh where are you then I'm like out of the fucking city right now Mary I had these plans with these friends. It doesn't matter. I swear I told you. Well, I don't remember. Look, bottom line is there's no way I can help you from here. What am I supposed to do then? Fuck, Mary, I don't know. I heard that his frustrated sigh through the phone, and I couldn't see it, but I could tell he was pinching the bridge of his nose. This is what Uber's for, or Lyft. Not sponsored, but could be. <laughs> you gotta you gotta work hard Justin. <laughs> where are you right now i'm at the movie theater but i think it closes soon all right well do you have anyone else you could call up maybe stay with them tonight i mean i guess so awesome great sounds good then Look, Mars, I really gotta go, okay? Mm. Call one of your other friends. I'm sure one of them will get you. Alright, then, good night. I heard the click of Crowens hanging up the phone. Oh, yeah, this is a thing that I have a problem with. I am very, if you guys haven't been able to tell, I am kind of the mom friend of a lot of my friend groups. How dare her friends treat her like this? And that's her cousin. Uh, I wouldn't be able to, to do be that. To fair, he has literally no way of helping. Right, her but he I would come. feel so bad if I was, like, out doing something and I got a call from one of my friends and they were like, Kendra, I'm stranded, can you please come pick me up? And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm, like, off uh, in Oregon or something, you know, let, uh, I don't think I can, uh, call me back, let me know, or, like, text me and keep me updated to what's going on. Okay, so you're more offended that he doesn't. He's not as concerned. Yeah, he was like, "Call, can you call someone? And she was like, maybe. And he's like, okay, good, just bye. <laughs> it's like, and now, if she gets kidnapped, and you're going to feel so bad because you were the last one to say anything to her, and you didn't do anything. Tiffer, once again, from Crowen's route, we know I mean, it's not his fault. Stuff. I'm not saying it's his fault. No, but I'm I'm, but, no, what I'm saying is we know I'm the kind of friend who, like, is like, okay, text me when you get home. <laughs> we, what I'm trying Did you get, to get home at, okay? Yeah, okay. What good I'm out. trying to get at is he has a gun and is doing something also. This is why I told he you guys be, to go watch the route. If you're confused, go watch the route. He could be in like danger. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I heard the click of Crowens hanging up the phone. Call up one of my other friends. Oh, well, there's only two of those. Who should I go with? What did I dream? You called Reginald last time. Oh yeah, why because did I you were do like, that? I don't like Twyla, and yeah, you said, I, still don't like <laughs> I guess we should go with Twyla since it's Twyla's route. Yeah. I don't know. Yes. Because like it's like what would happen if you called the mystery number? I wish I had somebody I could ask. <laughs> Chat, let me know. <laughs> I think I'll go with mystery number. I don't know. I, I want to do Twilight or mystery number. Part of me wonders if you if you do the call of the mystery number, he probably just won't pick up. Mm. And then we'll get That's true. choices again. Okay, let's let's test it. I mean, why not? Nope. I attempted calling the mystery number. No one picked up. You can see into the future. But I did receive a text immediately after. <laughs> Why did you call me? <laughs> okay. Why did you call me? <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> I don't like talking on the phone. <laughs> I literally had someone call me last night, one of my friends. <laughs> and I was like, are you okay? And she was like, yeah, I'm just trying to call you. And I'm like, why? Are you okay? And she's like, yeah, I just want to talk. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm stuck. Stuck? 
Where? I fell into a hole. <laughs> I miss my best home and it's pouring outside. I'm supposed to call one of my friends, but I'm not sure who to go with. I feel bad at waking either of them. I see. Can you choose for me? <gasps> what? Unfortunately, I don't know your friends, so I can't. That makes sense. <laughs> It's like yesterday. <laughs> what? Do you think it was like this? It was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know your friend. I was, I was picking out a birthday present for my friend, and I kept asking Dustin, and he was no help at all. It would be one thing if it's a friend of she yours that I knew. She likes purple. <laughs> okay. But I think you can make that decision on your own. Wow, you guys share so many things. <laughs> you have so many things in common. I guess I, I have to. Number. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. All right, Twyla it is. Boop. I called up Twyla. I heard the phone ring a few times, but then she picked up. She sounded angry, although she didn't sound like she was asleep before I called her. Mary? What are you calling me for? Don't you know what time it is? Yeah, I know. I know. That's kind of my problem. It, it's a long story, kind of, but, uh, I miss my bus home. Oh, I just remembered that now she might have to drive me home, and she's been trying to get my address this entire time. Oh, yeah. Well, dang. Oh! Well, last time Reginald took us to his house. That's true. Maybe I'll go to her house. Because I forget what we said. But Sleep we're like, over. We didn't want to go to our house. <laughs> Girls night! <laughs> I hate to What if we're sleeping in her house and we get a dream? <gasps> oh, I hope that happens now. <laughs> okay. I miss my bus home and I need a place to stay tonight. I was hoping maybe... Are you serious? I, I, yeah. Ugh, fine. But you owe me. What? Okay. Um, excuse me. I have distracted so many people for you. The frick do you mean I owe you? Mary. Y yeah, of course. Thank you so much. I am... Uh, I'm in the movie theater. Let me guess. By the cemetery? Uh, yeah, how'd you know? I'll be there soon. Okay, thanks to you again. Twilight. Uh, Mary's too nice. Wait, Twilight drives? Twilight drives. Interesting. Mm. Didn't think Maybe she her would. chauffeur's asleep, but she wouldn't care. <laughs> 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 Wake up! <laughs> um, Twilight came to pick me up herself this time. Oh, is it because she wants my address? She seems annoyed. I'm annoyed. When Reginald showed up, he looked concerned. Yeah, he was nice. <laughs> Kid was like, I don't trust him, I don't but at least he's him. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Could be a serial killer, but hey, at least he's not judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> by that, I mean, she was driving the car this time rather than having someone drive for her. She was fully dressed, but I couldn't tell if she changed out of pajamas just to pick me up. Not everyone wears PJs. Maybe she was doing something? Mm -hmm. Though her outfit does not look comfortable to sleep in. Um, she seemed a bit annoyed, though, picking me up, so I made sure to thank her again. The drive to her house was silent except for the rain, so we are going to her house. Luckily, there wasn't really anyone else on the road tonight, and when we got and we got to her house safely. Stepping inside the house felt more calm, like the first time I visited. I definitely preferred this to the liveliness of the party a few days ago. Although, I must admit, when there isn't- when there's hardly anyone here, it does feel empty. Oh, is this her room? I would imagine. Yeah, nice. It's not- Ugly. I'm not a huge fan of the orange walls against the purple, but they contrast so it sticks out. Um, Twilight's home had less doors and more archways. Okay. And passing one, I noticed the TV was on. Her uncle- was her uncle in there? 
Is everyone up so late? I mean, they are owls. I just thought of that. Just got a little owl. Yeah. Picture. What does that mean? Is that like having an ape photo? I don't, I don't think they're actual supposed to be actual know. owls. I don't know. <laughs> um, I followed the toilet so, upstairs to her I bedroom. Guess Zapra had ears, and so did the one dude. I don't get it. It was my first time seeing it, and it was a bit different than I expected. That's what I said. A lot more cluttered than I thought it would be, I guess. Okay, that's not what I was. I was just orange is not my favorite color for a wall. It's a lot. Also, it doesn't seem that cluttered. Yeah, Mary, what the no. <laughs> Um, not overly cluttered, but Twilight never really struck me as the type to collect clutter, but, you know, you learn something new every day. Well, here's my room. Also, it's interesting wood floors for a bedroom. I mean, here's my gun. Two hours? Okay. Um, without a rug? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you'll be sleeping here with me, but I don't- I actually have to head back out. What? Really? In this weather? Why? It's a personal matter. Alright, yes, there is a rug there. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I see. Okay, then. You can borrow some of my pajamas in the dresser and use the shower if you'd like. Eat from the kitchen, but again, I'm trusting you not to look through my things. Oh, yeah, of course. I'd never. Oh, that just Good. occurred to me. I'll be back soon. What? She could have given us a dress for the party. That is true. I was going to say, because she said, <laughs> oh, you can borrow my pajamas. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I guess they are pretty much the same body size. What a <laughs> jerk! <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, I was like. <laughs> I mean, maybe she only has one fancy dress. No, she doesn't. But she no, she rich. doesn't. <laughs> anyway. And then she left back downstairs again, leaving me here alone. I wasn't sure how long it'd be until she got back. I felt weird sleeping in her room without her. I get that. That is kind of weird. You know, like when you're at a friend's house and then they leave? Uh -huh. And you're just like... I don't want to touch anything. <laughs> Uh, what should I do? Snoop through her stuff. <gasps> I feel like taking a shower is also kind of weird when they're not there. Maybe mm -hmm. that's just me. Look at books. Go to the kitchen. Go to the living room. I don't know where her uncle is. It sounds like the river. The living room, because it was a TV, remember? She's yeah. like, the TV's on. She wasn't sure if her uncle was in there or not, though. Yeah, but what I'm saying is if he's here... He's probably in the living room. So or avoid the, the living room? Well, it depends. Do we want to talk? I don't know. She said he was weird yeah. with girls. Yeah. So that makes me want to avoid him. But she could be lying because it's Twyla. But. She could be telling the <laughs> truth because their family's weird. <laughs> <laughs> But it also... <laughs> I feel like look at books is something Mary would do. Well, he was a little flirty with Mary. Was he? A little bit. Because mm. he kept going, like, lovely young lady. Yeah, lovely. but some people just do that. <laughs> but... Like, sometimes <laughs> old guys will call me doll at work. They'll be like, thank you, doll. And I'll be like, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Without the... You know, facial yeah, expressions, because yeah, yeah. customer service. Anyway. <laughs> uh, look at books, I feel like, is what Mary would do. Well, I feel like that would be the thing, though, that would be interpreted more as Snoopy. Uh, so, go to the kitchen? Well, she did specifically say go to the kitchen when she was saying things. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Feel like we should maybe talk to her uncle? What if we go to the kitchen, see what happens, and then if we get another option, go to the living room? Because right. maybe he'll see us when we're down there. Assuming it's yeah, down. this seems like this seems like a situation where we should try to talk to her uncle. Yeah. Okay. I'll go to the kitchen, see what happens, and then go to the living room. But then yeah, since it specifically mentioned kitchen when she said Boop. 
help yourself to food and stuff. And, you know, I decided to look in her kitchen. She said I was allowed, after all. I headed back downstairs and into the kitchen. Hmm. It was dark, but I wasn't sure where the light switch was. Is it not just on the wall right away? Yeah, usually it's, it's next to the... Yeah. Houses. Are... <laughs> Majority have that. <laughs> I've never been to one that didn't. Could you imagine if you have, like, a pole thing in the middle of the kitchen? Yeah, but that would be weird in the middle of a mansion. Uh, was Twyla's dinner party prepared all in here? It seems like a small kitchen compared to the amount of guests that were here for it. I mean, they could have had it catered. Yeah. Yeah. Was dinner really made here? Probably best not to question it. Though it does seem like a small kitchen for the size of the house. Uh, if I had known anything, it's Twyla works in mysterious ways. <laughs> I wondered what she had in here, though. This uh, almost seems like a servant's quarters kitchen. I was thinking to. that too. <laughs> I've never really... I've seen clips of Downton Abbey. <laughs> but you've never watched nope. it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I do that with shows. It's really, it's a really bad habit of mine. I know. It's really annoying when I'm like, hey, can But I'm just saying. They have a huge kitchen. But yeah, it's mainly for the rich people upstairs. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I never really see Twilight eat, aside from the dinner party a few days ago. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. What am I doing in the fridge? Oh, what if I find? I opened Twyla's refrigerator, and to my surprise, there wasn't much at all. Even with that giant party they had? Maybe they're the kind of people who throw away leftovers. Uh, were there no leftovers? Or did they eat them all already? Still, there was a lot of empty space. There was a bowl of cherries, some gallons, of bottles of water, and a leftover pizza box? Huh. I checked the freezer, too, out of curiosity. There were two slabs of meat I couldn't quite recognize, and a tub of vanilla ice cream. If anything, I don't think there's- Gallons of water in the fridge? Seems weird to me. <laughs> well, she said gallons and bottles of water so i don't know if she meant like milk gallons and bottles of water or if it was both anyway um well if anything i don't think there's anything i wanted here i closed the fridge and looked in the pantry but again there still wasn't a lot there wasn't much else in here i thought about heading back upstairs but i could hear the living room tv playing from the next room and there was it was playing a familiar voice. I know that game show. What is it, like like Jeopardy or something? He is not magnanimous <laughs> like he was last <laughs> What is he wearing? Pajamas. Yeah, but they look like a onesie. It's the... Rich people in the past. Yeah. Like Long Johns or something. I don't know what they're yeah. called. <sighs> what a weird thing. Anyway, I entered the living room and made my way to the other side of the couch where, from where Denzin had been sitting. I didn't really say hello as I entered, just kind of plopped myself on the other side of the couch from where he was. Hmm, I don't know if I would feel comfortable sitting. <laughs> he already knew I was there. It felt kind of awkward to be saying hello so late in my stay. This is... Peril? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Yes. I used to watch this game show all the time with my dad. I was never really good at it, but dad was. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> uh, I think he could have won if he got on it. Is that though? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is this like Family Feud or something? Do you think you'd be good at it? Could be. This is such a stimulating conversation. <laughs> Not confident I'd come out on top, though. Don't say that. I think you could win, probably. I mean, you have such a nice house. What is that happening? I'm uh, sure that you have to be smart and a hard worker to afford it. Oh, sorry. Was that rude? You have a point, I suppose. You haven't even looked at me. 
We don't exactly feel working hard equates to knowing the most popular doll line nine years ago or knowing that how fast a horse is. Is this Jeopardy? Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, probably. Like some kind of Jeopardy? Cause... Oh, peril! Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I see. Our small talk seemed... Our, wait, our small talk pretty much ended there, and we continued to watch the show in silence, only piping up to guess an answer or two. It was a bit strange, but nice too in its own weird way. Like a childhood sleepover with my friend's uncle. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually I heard Twyla come back home again. She walked right past us and straight upstairs. What? She's so mean. I don't like her. I don't like her. Well, to be fair, she probably doesn't expect us to be in there with her. Maybe. Uncle. I heard her open the door to her room and stop and then walk back downstairs. Fine. Okay. I guess that's exactly what just happened. Because <laughs> the way she talks about her uncle, she probably doesn't hang out with him no, at all. No, I don't think so. Uh, then she joined us in the living room. Is this going to be like a wholesome moment? Oh. I was not expecting this. <laughs> what are we... Wait. <clears throat> what are you watching? Peril! You like that show? No offense, but I didn't really take someone as... Wait. I didn't really take that as something someone like you would enjoy. What? Dun -dun -dun. All right. <laughs> the next subject is graveyards for 300. Hey, you should be good at this one. Oh, maybe. A broken column-shaped headstone is used to represent what? Well, which is it, Mary? Uh, I think that's... I have to guess! <laughs> broken column-shaped headstone? Yeah. Life cut short, death from foul play, or death from pressure. I've never heard of anything like that. No, me neither. I'm like... <laughs> hmm. Okay. Column... Normally means support, right? I'm just trying to figure out what that even would entail. I'm picturing a column, so like, you know the ones, like a Greek looking one? Mm -hmm. So it's like a, a cylinder, but it has like those grooves or whatever in it. And then it just cut in half, but broken. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like, but that's what I'm picturing. Uh, would you announce how you died? I feel like maybe they would do that back in the day, though. Well, I'm like, now I'm thinking of the... <laughs> The, what? the the headstones for the victims of the Titanic. <laughs> what do they have? And they're like uh, then angled. Oh, why? For um, icebergs? Oh. No, I was, <laughs> I was like, I, that if it was good. a life cut short. Oh, maybe we'll go with life cut short. Because I just feel like, why would you announce to visitors the, the person was murdered that they were either murdered or died from pressure? And I mean, like, as in crushing, or as in like. Suicide. I don't know. Okay, we'll go with life cut short. Boop. A broken column represents the life that ended early. That's why it's broken. Because you weren't able to reach old age, like how the column was broken before it got to the top. At least, that's what I've heard. The contestant was answering something similar to what I said. That's correct! Woo! Let's go, baby! <laughs> I suck at Jeopardy. <laughs> huh, nice job. I wonder if any of the answers <laughs> oh, Did we spend... Did we spend, like, five minutes being, like, hmm, philosophical? <laughs> when in reality, it's just like, just click one. <laughs> oh, thanks, I think. Alright, let's get to bed now, then. I don't want you sleeping too long tomorrow morning. Oh, um, okay. Good night, Denzin. Good night, girls.
Yeah, family bonding. <laughs> Woo! I could not get his voice. <laughs> Every... I was, I was trying to do his voice being all slumpy, but it's like his voice was so magnanimous. I can't get it down. Every there. single time I read Denzin, I want to read Denzel. <laughs> Every single time. Um, I followed Twyla upstairs into her room again. She handed me some of her spare pajamas. I took her up on the offer to use her shower and headed to the bathroom before I got changed. Her bathroom was really clean. Cleaner than mine, anyways. She didn't even have any toothbrushes or clutter on the sink. Maybe there was another bathroom they used more often? Maybe, like a guest bathroom? Mm. Sounds like something a rich person would have. Uh, taking showers in someone else's house is always weird, especially when you don't know how Plenty to operate of houses it. Have two baths, can you yeah, but it's not like a bathroom for guests, a bathroom for use. Yeah. Well, you're assuming that you meant a bathroom for you. She could have multiple bathrooms. I was just thinking that she'd have, like, a guest bathroom near the guest bedroom. But I guess she doesn't have a guest bedroom. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, operating the faucet in a shower in someone else's house? Confusing. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but the shampoo had a really nice smell to it. Strangely enough, I don't recall smelling this on Twyla ever. Not that she smelled dirty or anything. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I like how she's like narrating, I would assume, in her own head. And she's like, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, it always seems like she's talking to someone. Maybe. The way she narrates. Twyla has always had cleanliness to her, but this shampoo didn't really seem to match hers. I got changed into Twyla's pajamas. They fit pretty comfortably, though I expected that, since we're two small girls. When I returned to Twyla's room, the lights were already off. Rude. She had a- she was always- what? She was clicking away on her laptop. I noticed on the floor she left a blanket and pillow for me. Okay, fine. I didn't really want to just sleep on her rug, but I wasn't going to argue with her hospitality. I crawl. I cuddled into it and tried to get comfortable. Fair, I don't think <laughs> both of them could fit in the bed. No, very it looks like a twin size bed or something. What are you typing? <laughs> Nothing. Are you messaging someone? <laughs> no. Does it have to do with the investigation? <laughs> That's none of your business. Oh. But I'm helping you, aren't I? Yes, and I appreciate that. But there's parts of it I need to do on my own. Why does it have to be a secret? I wouldn't be able to help you anymore. Wait, wouldn't I be able to help you more if I knew? No. Like I said, I appreciate your help, but I don't want you getting in the way. But what if I knew something? Something that could help. Something that could point us in the right direction. I already have my direction. Yeah, and it's a biased one. I just need proof. You're certain that Reginald really did it? Who? R Reginald, the guy you told me to stay away from. Yeah, I know who he is. Did she find a new suspect and not tell us? Or is she not listening? I'm absolutely positive it was him. That's not what she just said. I'm confused. I am confused as well. Uh, I just... How can you be so sure of that? I don't understand how you can decide or be so decisive over it, especially when you don't have any proof. I'll get it. And then you'll know why you shouldn't doubt me. Alright then. Violet, do you want to be a detective? Huh? Do you want to be a detective? Is that why you're doing this? And you're working so hard for it? Not necessarily. I just want my city to be clean. Okay, Batman. <laughs> um, would you want to be a police officer or something then? Oh god, no. Even if the police weren't morons, I still wouldn't want to be part of them. Are you, like, a vigilante, then? Oh, what's with all the stupid questions? Sorry, sorry. 
Um, what do we do after we catch him then? What do you mean? We'll hand him over to the police. So that's when the police step in? Yeah, they're the ones who need to arrest him after all. We just take care of it until that point. I see. And then? And then what? And then what about after that? What do you mean? There's nothing after that. It will be done. That's it? There's nothing else you want to solve? Nope. You're saying that as if it's common to chase down murderers. Well, no, I mean, I don't know. Our friendship was pretty much built on solving mysteries, so... What? It's just not good. We aren't friends. <laughs> We're not? No. I mean, if you want to refer to me as being your friend, that's fine. But it's important you know that I don't see you that way at all. This is so awkward. I, I don't plan on talking with you anymore once this is over. You don't? Like, maybe if I need you or something. But otherwise, there's no point in continuing this alliance. What, you're not upset by that, right? I thought I made it pretty clear I was just being polite to you. Are you? No, no, I just, I'm just really tired. I think I'll sleep now. Good night. I don't like Twyla. I don't like her at all. <sighs> I had a hard time sleeping after that. It didn't help that I was stuck on her floor, either. I did eventually get to sleep, but I didn't feel any better about it in the morning. When I woke up, Twyla was awake, too. I don't know if she even slept. She seemed to be in the same position she was when I went to sleep. I guess she's something of a night owl. <laughs> she didn't say anything to me as I grabbed my own clothes and left for the bathroom to change. I left her pajamas by the sink and headed back downstairs. Oh, I left without saying good morning or stopping for breakfast. And I decided to I'll walk my way to the bus stop or something. Even though Twilight didn't think of me as a friend, I'd like to still think of her as one. Mary is too good for this chick. I'd like to, but... That's so sad. Yeah. I think that's where we're gonna save for today. Man, I really don't like Twyla. Like, I didn't like her before, but now I really don't like Twyla. How dare she do that to our girl, Mary? Mary's too nice, I swear. Do I hit this? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. What do I hit them? Boop. Okay. Anyway. Oh. She just makes me so mad. I swear. Like, at first I was like, maybe she's one of those characters who doesn't know how to express herself properly, so it'll be fine and blah, 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 blah. But no. No, she expressed herself perfectly fine there. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm assuming... I don't know, actually. I figured we were, like, on the path to figuring something out when she went to the cemetery and i totally thought that we were gonna like fall asleep and talk to somebody but i don't know i feel like she still needs to talk to somebody i don't know who but mm -hmm. that's the only next step i could think and i still don't think that it's reginald i think that's too obvious and i think twyla has too much tunnel vision yeah yeah I don't know. Anyway. I think we're almost at the end of this, though. Oh, you yeah. think so? If the falling asleep under the mausoleum uh -huh. happens at the same point, I'm pretty sure the next event was that we went out. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, that makes me know. kind of nervous then, because hopefully we get a good ending. <laughs> well, you wanted to do the bad ending also. So I don't know. No. Like anyway. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying Cemetery Mary. Again, classic sign-off. I feel like we have so much information, yet we have learned nothing. 
But yeah, I really like this game. I really like the mystery and I really like being a detective and I hope you guys are enjoying the ride. If you're curious about any other episodes, you can check them out on our YouTube channel. If you want to know more about Crowen's story, that's on there too. We stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday around 3ish. It kind of varies. Typically so, more towards 3:30. Yes, so if you enjoy watching us or want to come check out one of our other games, please come by. We'd love to see you. Um, follow, like, subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and until then, bye-bye.